Hi everyone! So today we are going to be making arancini rice balls. Um, I did wash my hands before this, but even though I have gloves on, it's still you can still get germs in food. Um, so I just made three of the balls off camera, which each have one piece of mozzarella in them. And um, I'm just going to fill each one with a piece of mozzarella and make it flat like a patty. Still itchy. And then you're going to put them in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes and let them chill and firm up. And then you're gonna dredge them in flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs. So we will be back in a few minutes and Sophia will demonstrate what she's doing. Hi everyone. So we are back and we formed all the um, rice balls and they're called arancini, but we formed all the rice balls and we put mozzarella in the middle and now I am just coating them with panko breadcrumbs, flour, and egg wash. Where do you start? So, oh right, we start in the flour and then the, the, we dip it in the egg and then the egg becomes glue for the breadcrumbs. Great, and why are you using panko? Because they, they're more crispy. The breadcrumbs are more crispier and when you deep fry them, they just get really nice and crispy. And what are we gonna do now? We are going to pause and start frying them outside. And why are we frying them outside? Because you could get a really bad oil burn and it's really stinky. And we don't wanna have a hot pan of oil in the house because it's a hot day. Yes. Good job. All right. Hey everyone, we're outside. And Sophie is gonna tell you what, what we're doing now. So my dad is deep frying the arancini and he just lets them sit in there for like about like 10 seconds and then he rolls them in very softly and I think- Five minutes. I think you have to put them in for five minutes. Yep, and your oil should be 350 degrees. We don't actually have a hot, deep fat uh, thermometer, so we're just kind of guesstimating. And here we go. This is the done arancini, and we are gonna plate them up when we're all finished. And if you deep fry, always have an oven mitt, uh, always have an adult or a sibling to help you. And just be really careful, because oil is hot and you can really burn yourself. So you should be very, very, very careful. So we will be back, right, Soph? And then we're gonna eat our it smells arancini. Like funnel cake. Smells like funnel cake. There you go. We can do that with the oil when we're finished. Okay. Bye, everybody. We'll be back. So the arancini are being fried, and we wanted to show you how they look. And mm. Moxie wants some too. And Sophie just had one. <laughs> what did you think? Well, real good. You, mm. Go ahead. Just say it one more time. They're really good. No, the arancini. Um, arancini. <laughs> arancini. So, thumbs up or thumbs down? Did you love this recipe or not? Mm. I loved it. Awesome. Thumbs up. I'm gonna take one. Thank you. And we have some yummy uh, marinara with spicy red pepper and some basil. And I'm going to eat this oh now. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Yummy, creamy, oh, spicy marinara. Uh, All right, we're good. Sophie, say goodbye. Bye, bye. Thanks for watching our video. Tell us what you want us to make. And please like our video and subscribe. And, subscribe. and turn your notification bell on and comment what you want to do next. Oh, good. Yes, please. And say goodbye to Moxie, who would really love an arancini. Bye-bye.